here as mom hustle and bustle. I've never done that before, but I see people do that. <laughs> I kind of felt silly doing it. I was asked to do a thrift haul by um, one of my Instagram viewers and I'm honestly, I've never, I don't watch thrift hauls, so I don't really know what people are looking for. I'm just kind of gonna roll with it. We'll see how it goes. And I mean, I guess if this video is really awful, then I'll just delete it. I have two bags of things. Everything was 50% off. So let's get going. This is my thrift haul to resell. We have our first bag from Savers. Let's see what I, I honestly, it's been so long. I honestly kind of forgot some of the stuff. Okay, so the first one, we have some L.L. Bean men's duck boots. I pretty much will always buy duck boots because I feel like they always sell, unless like they're really beat up. I mean, they do have some wear. They have some wear to like the bottoms. Um, so L.L. Bean duck boots, I will get them any height. I don't care. They always seem to do well. And my niece was like, are those good? And I'm like, throw them in. So I got these um, for $6.50. They're men's. They do have like, like I said, like typical like wear. I'll, I'll clean them up, make them look a little bit nicer, but we'll see how that goes. That's my light going out. Next thing I have are some women's Croc shoes. Not the typical look of the Crocs, but they're just black. Um, they have these cute cutouts. I got these for $2.50. I feel like the light is actually making them. They look like, when I saw them in the store, I was like, they look brand new. Like, I don't think anybody wore them. They're also square toe, which I know for 2020 trends, square toe is back in. So I found these $2.50. They're a bigger size, so um, smaller size in shoes I don't actually do well with, but women's bigger size shoes, I do really well with, because I don't know if they're harder to find, um, like the brand Long Tall Sally, um, that brand, if you see Long Tall Sally, you take that, you buy it. <laughs> but so these ones are, they say 11 to 11 and a half, I'll have to, 11, 11. So these will be on Poshmark soon. So these shoes, <laughs> my niece was like, what are you nuts when I got these? But personally, I actually like them. They're kind of like grandma shoe, hipster vibe. Um, they're, I'm pretty sure these are vintage based off like how the markings are inside the shoe. They're fully leather uppers. Um, they're a little platformy and I know that's like kind of coming in too. Um, that's like still in and becoming a thing. Um, they are comfort something made in the USA. So pretty sure these are vintage, but I know I would wear them and I would probably buy them. Um, I know that probably people are like, what? But I, they're like, I kind of like that old lady hipstery. I don't know. I'm into that. So anyway, so I had to get these because they were so cheap. I wasn't going to take the risk, but then when I saw that they were 225, I was like, Let's go for it. So I got these bad boys. Oh, these ones. My niece also said I was crazy about these. They are fry, I believe. Yes, fry shoes. Just like some, they're kind of like mesh. But my niece thought I was crazy because somebody drew on them. Who would do that? If I can see it. But I thought it'll be a good challenge to try and clean it up. And if it goes well, then I'll maybe post a video on YouTube. Because you know, I love shoe cleaning videos. That's one of my favorite things. I don't know why I like to watch those and I like to do them and I feel like I clean shoes all the time and I never record it and I'm like I need to just start recording these more so this page will be all shoe cleaning no I'm just kidding so yeah fry shoes they have like kind of like mesh like I thought they'd be cute for summer if I can get this blue off and since they were three dollars and 25 cents I was like I'll try it I know some people are probably watching this and they were like you're not smart but that's okay because I'm a learn as you go type of girl and if anything I'll wear them myself so my niece pulled this out she's like what about this brand right when I heard the brand I was like I don't even care just throw them in they're Eileen Fisher kind of like tweedy but they're kind of like wide leg like I could see like a loose almost like boho-y summer vibe could kind of go with these I don't know I could see these really cute with people who wear a crop top that could be really cute with um, or just like a tank top, a t-shirt, whatever. They can be dressed up, dressed down, they're extra large. They have like this stretchy waistband. Like I honestly wish they were my size because I honestly would have to probably keep them. Even though like I know like Eileen Fisher is um, a sustainable clothing brand. So I know there's definitely interest in that. I do have another pair of Eileen Fisher pants, but before I actually knew what the brand was, I had posted them. And so the pictures are like really awful because I just was like, I thought they were probably not that great and then I found out they're like 100% silk so those are also on there if you are if we have any Eileen Fisher lovers so these are extra large 
I'm really like loving this material though. It's like super like thin and breathable and like linen-y. I don't even know. It says, made in USA of Italian fabric. I don't know what that means. Plus size women's for me, it just, I don't know. It goes, it goes. Like I have a lot on there right now that's older, but it's because like it's stuff that had like wear that I had gotten like from friends or other ways that I source. So if I see them, I will buy them. And I don't know if, I don't think this is a brand. I don't know. The tag's kind of cute, but I've never heard of it. So, but I got these for, should I 17 to 18, 349. Okay, so a dollar, I don't know, a dollar something? I don't even know. I don't even know what that would be. So yeah, so these are just some like wide leg pants, but they look, when I saw them, they look brand new and like, like I said, plus size, I will buy. They're kind of like a wide leg pant. I thought with summer coming up, they're really light and flowy and I'm really digging them. Um, I would wear them if they were my size again. I'm really liking like this like vintagey, it's not paisley, it's like, I don't even know. It's kind of paisley, I don't even know. This print is like really cool. I don't know, I like it. I like the material, it's like soft and stretchy and it just, they look so comfy. It's called by Hey Hun. Never heard of that brand. So hopefully somebody will comment and be like, that's a really good brand. I, probably not. That's probably like a cheap knockoff brand, but 2XL. So I figured why not? Because they look new. And I knew I'll make money on those. Like when I, when I thrift, I really like jeans and I really like shoes. I don't know. I think they're the easiest for me to dig through. Um, I don't know why. I just really do. So pretty much I think the rest of these are all going to be jeans and pants. So we did jeans and shoes and like I said, I think I looked real quick at like some like stretchier and athletic pants and then we left, even though I didn't want to. Okay, so these bad boys, I got these for two and change, under 250 V. They are, what size are these? Some, they're 14 petite, they're Michael Kors. They do have some wear, but I know like some people don't mind that. Like I don't mind that when I wear jeans because I like slightly distressed styles. So the hems do have some wear, um, but they're just some like basic Michael Kors jeans. I don't know if they're gonna do well. I've actually, I know some people do really, really good with Michael Kors. I don't, but for like $2, I was just like, mm, let's just see how it goes. So I did get these ones. They have like a cute little like button detail. I don't even know how to word it studded. I don't know, it's not, I don't know. I'll have to look it up the terminology. I'm not good with terms of the top of my head. Got these for 250 and pretty much, like I said, if I see plus size that's pretty cheap, I'll just buy them. So they're plus size, they were in good shape. I don't really care what the brand is, I'll buy them. And they're really stretchy. I wish, like I, these are mine. It says curve appeal, minimal string. So I'll make, I'll make something off those. It wasn't like some crazy brand. Next, again, another plus size jean. These are two and change. Um, so they are seven Lux bootcut 22 jeans. They, oh, size 22, so they're plus size. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why. Just bear with me, please, I'm sorry, I apologize. So yeah, so just some basic jeans, cute embroidered pocket detail. I saw the brand, I saw the size, they do have some wear, um, but that's okay for me, because I got them so cheap, and size, brand, they're good. Like I said, it's actually kind of fun because I haven't looked in a while. These are Gap Slim Boyfriend Jeans, but they're size 18 again. So I got paid two and change for them. They're kind of grayish. They're plus size. And I really like the front details. So they have like, they're like destroyed denim, but then this little, I don't know, I'm really digging that. that I don't know, I think it's really cute. So, yes. So these ones I got for 250. They are Lane Bryant, plus size 18 for the price. The brand, the size, I was like, yep, yeah, let's do it. So just, again, poor jeans are really stretchy. So whoever, I know people like, like stretch. Like if I feel ones that are like straight cotton, unless it's like a really good brand, I normally won't buy them because most people are always like, is there stretch? <sighs> 250 again. I was having a heyday with jeans, like I said. Um, 18 wide, plus size Jennifer Lopez boyfriend jeans. So cute, simple in really good shape. They're actually like a, um, like a thinner material. They have like some slight, very subtle distressing. Um, but there was like a nice thin lightweight material, but still like, you know, jean, jean denim. Um, but I thought that would be really good too for summer. And like those would be year round closet pieces, I think. That's how I love my jeans. Thin and stretchy. All right, so we got 250 again, Gap, 3214 jegging jeans. They have these cute little, I'm really, I really like these little zippers on the bottom. I like those like, I, 
extra details. It's all in the deets. Go check out my Facebook group because we have a game called All in the Deets. Um, they have like this like stretchy, not even jean waistband. Like I was like, I brought those. Um, so yeah, so again, 250 and they have like this, like the seam down the leg too, which I really like that too. Sorry, I know this is like the most, this is like such a boring thrift haul because it's like jeans, 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 but that's really all I had time to do that day. All right, um, size 12, Refuge. They're like a royal blue jean. They look skinny leg. Got these 250 again, so I just swiped them. Good condition. I honestly really don't see anything wrong with them, so make something on that. Um, these ones I paid like under 250. Lane Bryant, skinny, genius fit, size 14, tall. So I just saw Lane Bryant and I said, what the hey? <laughs> um, so yeah, so just basic, basic jeans. But I don't know, I, sometimes I sit on jeans, but sometimes I do really well with them. And I haven't posted a lot of plus size in a while because I stopped, I pretty much like cut myself off from sourcing for a really long time. So I'm excited to post some new stuff for my customers because I, I think uh, a lot of my repeat customers were the people that end the plus sizes. They get it really cheap, so I'm willing to like negotiate really good. Cute little pocket, stitch detail, wave. And lastly, these are size 18, they're stretchy. I don't know if this is a brand, I, I remember, so when I'm in the store, I do check comps pretty much on everything, but again, I don't know if I did on these because I thought they were cute and they're plus size, so, and I got them for less than $2, so a dollar and change, so personally, I so if anyone's into like acid wash, 80s, vibe, 90s, I don't know. Boom! Yeah! I don't know. I'm like loving these. I hope that the camera is really showing how just how cute they are because they're so cute. They're like skinny. I really, oh my gosh. I feel like this lighting is not cutting it right now. But I'm loving these. I wish they were my thighs. They're really super stretchy. So, yep. Again, another good deal. Plus size, I don't know if cello, I don't think I've ever heard of cello. I don't know, it was so long. I do look up, like I said, I have a list, I have um, a brand list that I have when I'm sourcing. And I, if I'm not sure, then I'll, I always do comps on stuff unless, but sometimes if it's really, really cheap, I, I'll just take the risk because I don't even care. Like, especially, like I said, plus size, jeans under $2. There's a good chance I didn't look those ones up. So that was it for my thrift haul. Um, the receipt. I did get some things for my kids. Uh, there's like six things that were my daughter's. So, and like I said, there may have been some other stuff too. But I spent a total of $53 for all that plus more. Um, which honestly, like I would spend $53 just on this stuff alone because uh, I will definitely make more than that. So wish me luck on cleaning the shoes. Check out my closet at Mom Hustle Bustle on Poshmark. Um, and no longer shop clothes, lady. I changed that just to make it easier for people who are following me on social media. Um, go check it out. I'm open to offers. I'm having a sale right now. So a really good closet clear out sale on my lower end merchandise. Um, so if you guys are interested, go check me out. Check the links below. Thanks for watching my first thrift haul. I hope I did not bore you to death. Please like, comment, let me know what I could do better or if it was boring. Let me know. Just let me know. I want, I want the honest feedback because I don't want to waste my time or yours. So um, if you're interested in more, let me know so I can make sure I can start doing more of these, I guess. Thanks guys.